Oh god. Ah, uh, okay. Hi, I'm Hambit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi everybody, it's Hambit here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. In this video, I'll show you a foolproof method of making the Dalgona candy, which has gained a lot of interest thanks to Squid Game on Netflix. So what is Dalgona candy? Dalgona, pronounced Dalgona in Korean, is a nostalgic sugar candy that is very similar to honeycomb toffee. It's basically a candy or a sweet that's been around for generations. For this video, I'm going to use the Dalgona kit to make the Dalgona candy to make it feel more authentic. I bought mine in Korea, but you can buy it on Amazon as well. Don't worry if you don't have a Dalgona kit, you can still make a great Dalgona candy using a simple ladle and a flat bottomed glass. I love Dalgona candy. It's sweet and bitter at the same time. And of course, there's the fun aspect of it. There's the game aspect of it, as you've seen on Squid Game. Usually with the street vendor, if you crop it out correctly, they'll give you another one for free. And if you're not successful and you break it into pieces during the process, then you eat it yourself. Not that bad after all. I actually started this video for fun because although I've had countless number of Dalgona candies when I was young, I've actually never made it myself. I'm a professional pastry chef, so I thought I would get the hang of it after a few attempts. But it turned out to be failure after failure. They were pretty much epic failures. I think I've made more than 100 Dalgona candies before I actually got the hang of it. I got so frustrated and I decided to take this seriously. Well, how does this Dalgona candy work? You make Dalgona candy using sugar and baking soda. Just two ingredients and that's it. It's as simple as that. The science behind it comes from the baking soda. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. When heat is applied, sodium bicarbonate breaks down into sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. And it's this carbon dioxide that inflates the Dalgona candy and gives volume and lift it up. So looking at this, you can see that the amount of baking soda you add will be very important, as well as the amount of heat applied. Now I'm going to show you how to make the Dalgona using the old school method, or we can say it's the traditional method. This uses the Dalgona kit and it's extremely fun to make it. And there are only two ingredients, sugar and baking soda. That's pretty much it. And additionally, I've used a bit of oil and applied it to the bottom of the press so that it can come off easily when you press the Dalgona. Have you clicked like and subscribe? I'm going to use chopsticks because that's the old school method. Now, before we start, there are a few guidelines that you have to follow in order to make a successful Dalgona. Firstly, I'm going to use low heat all the way through. You want to melt the sugar as evenly as possible and that's why you need to use low heat. Secondly, you want to add the baking soda as soon as the sugar has melted. The common mistake is to add the baking soda too late. I've had numerous failures testing out this Dalgona before shooting this video. And the main reason was that I went too far in terms of melting the sugar. Thirdly, once you add in the baking soda, don't mix it for too long because then you're going to burn the Dalgona. And finally, when you pour your Dalgona onto the mat, wait a few seconds before pressing it down. If you press it down immediately, it's likely that it'll stick to the press. So this Dalgona might look really simple and easy, but it's actually more difficult than you think. So you do have to follow the guidelines in order to make a successful Dalgona. Right, heat on. I'm going to put this heat on low so that I can barely see the fire. The whole point is to melt the sugar as evenly as possible. I'm going to stir it until all the sugar has melted. You can still see some bits here, right? Great, now I'm going to add in the baking soda. In terms of how much you need to add, it's literally just a pinch. That should be enough. I'm going to turn it off and then stir it. Now pour it onto the mat. Just wait a few seconds before pressing it down, or else it'll stick to the bottom of the press.
Wow. There you go. There's your perfect Dalgona. Now, time for some fun. I've got my Dalgona candy here and a needle, and I'm going to crop this shape out. Let's see if I succeed. Uh, uh, well, um, I need to concentrate. Good, I didn't break it apart. Oof. I'm still alive. And that, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. Sugar high, so I'll get back to work. Oh God. Ah, uh, okay. Ow, that hurts. Ay guapra. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll succeed this time. So this was my fourth attempt and honestly after about two attempts it's not really fun but it's just work. One thing about the term Dalgona. Firstly, we have the Dalgona candy. The original, the authentic Dalgona candy. Secondly, this Dalgona candy can be made into a larger size. In Korea we call that king size Dalgona but some people call it mega Dalgona. I'll make a separate video covering this mega king size Dalgona. Thirdly, here comes the Dalgona coffee which gets very confusing. This Dalgona coffee has nothing to do with the Dalgona candy. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You'd simply take instant coffee, water, and a bit of sugar and whip it forever. And it has nothing to do with Dalgona candy. It tastes nothing like it because it's using instant coffee. You make it for fun, not for the taste. And finally, you have the Dalgona latte or you call that the Dalgona candy latte. And this tastes pretty good because you take the mega king size Dalgona and you place it on top of your regular latte. So with sweet and bitter tasting Dalgona inside your latte or on top of your latte, and that tastes pretty good. I'll make a separate video that covers this Dalgona candy latte another time. So I've mentioned four products that comes from this word Dalgona, and hopefully this straightens out the confusion. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on how to make a perfect Dalgona. Do try making that home because it only requires sugar and baking soda. I'll come back next time with another amazing recipe. Thank you very much. Kamsamida. Although, I won't be wearing this costume next time. <laughs>